Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now essentially the middle of July of 2022, which means we're only getting closer to TV shows out there like Star Wars Andor, The Bad Batch Season 2, and yes, even Tales of the Jedi. Before we get to more live action material in, of course, February with The Mandalorian Season 3. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing about the future of the Star Wars universe is that we know that Kathleen Kennedy is having a lot of trouble out there with shows like the Acolyte TV series and the overall direction of Star Wars Skeleton Crew, which, by the way, is filming as we speak, but they had a couple of setbacks here and there, but it's still afloat by John Watts, the showrunner of the show, by the way. He worked on Spider-Man. Now, the thing about all of this is that Kathleen Kennedy, all right, she has made a lot of mistakes, terrible mistakes before in the past with the sequel trilogy films, with Solo, with many canon choices in the Star Wars universe, and it didn't really end there. It also actually included something big with the original trilogy that Disney really dodged a bullet with, and that all has to do with a big plan that Kathleen Kennedy had for, of course, retelling and rewriting the original trilogy movies in the form of a Star Wars TV series that really was going to be a big nightmare for the fans and, of course, for the Star Wars creators at heart. Now, with that being said, of course, Kathleen Kennedy never really seems to stop. She doesn't really care about the Star Wars brand. She doesn't care about George Lucas, as we have all witnessed. She stabbed George Lucas in the back. She promised him all of these different things about respecting his characters and decided to do the complete opposite. Now, going back to the subject here about what she initially had planned to retell and rewrite the entirety of the original trilogy, with Kathleen Kennedy currently handling Star Wars TV shows like The Acolyte and Skeleton Crew, she no longer holds creative power over anything else Star Wars related besides those two Star Wars TV series. However, it's noted that one of the big plans that Kathleen Kennedy had in store for the Star Wars franchise was to rewrite the original trilogy canon material and story with a brand new Star Wars TV series that eventually got cancelled by Bob Chapek, the Disney CEO, after realizing this kind of mess it was going to be for the Star Wars fandom. Now, the series is going to hold animation very similar to Star Wars Rebels mixed with the Clone Wars style and was going to be a full retelling of the original trilogy movies that George Lucas created where Kennedy was going to focus on the characters of Luke, Han, and Leia and had a goal to change drastic parts of the original trilogy canon material. One of which had to do with the fact that Kathleen Kennedy was going to rewrite the moment Luke Skywalker rescues Princess Leia where Leia would rescue herself instead in the original canon material for, of course, this new series. Kennedy also wanted to focus on retelling the entire original trilogy story by throwing in more female leads into the show that would change the lore and story elements of the original trilogy films and exactly what happens. This animated series was described to be planned to be just as big of Star Wars Rebels budget and how that actually went on and was going to retell many highlights of the three movies by George Lucas that would break canon material and change the past. Now, before I get on to the more concerning stuff that Kathleen Kennedy almost did with the Star Wars universe, all right, let's just focus on what she was about to do with Leia, and it really comes as no surprise. Basically, she wanted to reverse the entire scene in which Luke rescues Leia. You know, we all know that beloved scene, that very famous scene where you know, Luke comes into the prison chamber and he says, I'm Luke Skywalker, I'm here to rescue you. And it was a very iconic moment. Something that was so iconic that, well, Kathleen Kennedy couldn't help herself to attempt to strip that down to nothingness. And she wanted to basically allow Leia to rescue herself in this retelling of the original trilogy that was going to be considered canon in the actual Star Wars universe. And she didn't care if fans would not accept it or anything like that. She just wanted to make this canon and stamped it into the actual books. And making that from the Star Wars TV show as well. 
Now, I don't know about you guys, but the fact that she was going to make this really was very concerning, and it just goes to show you that thankfully the Disney executives caught on to this early on and canceled it midway through before they even began working on this in principal photography form. But overall, you know, moving on to the next thing is where it gets even a little bit more ridiculous here, is that this, all right, is something that the Disney executives knew would be a disaster in the making and decided to cancel this project that was recently finalized and has now been shelved forever. Kennedy also had a plan to make Han Solo less masculine by changing his womanizing features with Leia in the original trilogy with these new Star Wars stories that were to be told in animated form that would change the canon material. So, again, we already know that Han Solo is a big flirt, right? He likes to flirt with the females, you know, especially with Leia in, of course, the movies, and if you guys have read the comics, he does this a lot with other characters out there, like, of course, you know, all of the new ones that were introduced, as well as, you know, we also had a lot of other characters that were introduced that knew Han Solo in the current Disney canon material and even in the Legends material. That's just how Han Solo's character is. And that's what a lot of fans, you know, like about him. He's kind of like that, you know, uh, really edgy guy, and he's always kind of telling all these jokes and that's something that what Kathleen Kennedy wanted to back off from. She wanted to strip that character basically down to nothing as well. I don't know about you, but something like this should have never even been thought of to be completely altered with or, you know, to be messed with at all. I don't know. At the end of the day, it seems like Kathleen Kennedy is doing all of this on purpose. I don't think this is all being done on mistake. I don't think it's a mistake at all. I think that there's something else going on here with Kathleen Kennedy's agenda. But all I can say is I'm very thankful that this never came to fruition and that it never made it to actually entering into principal photography. Now, it was aimed to also bring back Mark Hamill to voice the character of Luke in the series, and this is surprising. Mark Hamill actually did not want to sign on to the project after hearing about all of the changes that were being put into the show. In the end, Mark Hamill never joined and things began to fall apart off, of course, Kathleen Kennedy's project. And how many writers and directors did not want to be associated with this and that show and since they knew it was too extreme and would gain a ton of backlash by Star Wars fans around the globe. Executives decided to decided fast to actually put the series to an end quickly after realizing in the story that it would only confuse casual fans and anger hardcore fans in the process as well. This of course would have easily been a bigger backlash than The Last Jedi. I don't know about you guys, but it easily would have been. It would have been right up there on the very first episode. Now, it's unclear as to exactly when they wanted to get this thing out there on Disney+, Plus, but it was in the works, right around when Solo A Star Wars Story was being made, and it was cancelled eventually by 2020. Uh, we talked about this lightly some years ago, and this is of course all of the new stuff that, of course, never really made it into the actual show, thankfully. Obviously, Kathleen Kennedy does not care about the core characters, and I think that this is a living example of her agenda, what she doesn't care about the Star Wars universe, you know, the Star Wars fans at heart, and it really does make you wonder what in the world the Acolyte series is going to be like, as well as Skeleton Crew, if she was about to do something as extreme as this. So overall, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about all of this below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.